What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Spin Fuels Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and it's another vlog. I know we've done two vlogs in a row, but I've been really busy with the whole uh, update of the channel and everything. So, uh, few few things that I want to tell you about tonight. Uh, first of all, I've got some pretty special, not vape mail, but photo mail. Um, something that's going to help the, the channel out a little bit. Um, and, you know, a, a little sneak peek at the new spot and a few other changes and, and some questions for you guys. So uh, let's get started. I just got home really excited. I got the tracking information and said it was delivered. So very excited about this. Got the trusty scissors that we do unboxings with. So let's just get into it. And obviously we're gonna skip the formalities. This is just a, a quick little vlog. All right, so packing slip, toss that. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. There we go. Let's just remove packing materials. Yes, it's a Rebel T4i camera. Um, got it used for a pretty good price on Adorama.com. Uh, one of my only places I shop for camera equipment. So let's go ahead and open it up. So, looks to be no manuals or anything, not that I need them. Uh, just a big empty open spot there. No big deal. Not really interested in that. Oh wait, no, oh, there it is. Never mind. So it does come with the manuals. That's kind of cool. Uh, next wrap. Mmm. Some uh, gel. Ooh, I love that stuff. Tasty. Just kidding. USB cord. Standard half of the power adapter. There's the power adapter. There's the battery charger. Battery. And there we go. So, once again, get rid of that. So, here it is. Uh, a little hard to see. Let's get it in the light there. T4i. The uh, reason I bought this one is because of this right there. Flip around screen. That's pretty much that in the battery life. That's why I bought it. Um, my other camera is good, but the battery does not last. And half the time I'd be recording a video, check the back of the screen, and it was black. So... I figured this might help out a little bit. So let's fire it up. Let's give it a, a first quick little preview here. If I can figure out how the battery goes in. There we go. Maybe. Nope. <laughs> there we go. All right. So um, I do have a lens. If anyone cares, it's a crop sensor camera if you don't know what a Canon Rebel is. But it shoots in 1080p HD video so that's kind of you know the other reason I bought it. Well, let's go ahead and oh, of course the battery's dead. Well here's what it looks like and that's where you get the the screen so that's kind of why I bought it so I can see myself recording. Um, I'm just going to play around and charge up the battery and next video you see will be recorded with this little guy. So that's thing number one. Um, obviously you guys have seen some of the changes with the channel, my new logo, uh, new graphics, stuff like that. And another big change for me is the fact that I um, stopped the monetization on the channel. And the reason I did that is because one. Uh, it wasn't making me any money. Not that I'm trying to make money off of this channel anyways. Uh, two, because I feel like 
it's kind of pushing me down in the search algorithm uh, because YouTube doesn't want to pay its contributors, so there's that. And three for you guys, obviously. Um, I want to have you know this be the most streamlined channel possible where you don't have to sit through an ad before watching an intro and all that stuff. Which brings me to my next topic, which is the intros. I might be changing my intros up a little bit, probably shortening it. I know an 11 second intro is probably more than is necessary, but um, I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking about it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, uh, whether or not I should change that or what. Um, not too much else to talk about. Just uh, I did want to give you guys a little preview of the studio. So while I have this quick vape break, you guys are going to see it. A little sneak peek of that. So that was the new studio. I know I have a long way to go. Uh, I do have a lot of big plans for that. And first would be, you know, soundproofing. I want to minimize the amount of echoes you guys hear and just give my videos the most top quality you can possibly get. Um, second is going to be an addition to lighting. Um, as of right now, I use little um, LED lights. Hopefully, going to be upgrading those in the near future, and uh, you know that kind of thing. So, just improve the overall video quality. And the last thing is uh, my Patreon. So, for those of you that don't know, I mentioned it in my previous video, uh, but it's uh, basically support like. Uh, instead of having a individual goal in mind, it's basically just an ongoing support for your favorite content creators on YouTube or whatever. So you get to support them directly by donating a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, five dollars a month. Uh, that's the way I have my Patreon set up, where it's doing it by month. So instead of you know just having one goal in mind, saying I want a new camera or I want I want this, I want that. This is my goal. It's just kind of an ongoing thing to help me out with my videos and my goals and just funding this channel. And so if you guys want to check that out, I will leave a link in the description below for you guys to check that out. Um, everything's going to be updated and changed and tweaked and that kind of thing. I'm still kind of working on some stuff, but I've been super busy lately with the whole um, writing for Vape Magazine and all that. I've got another article to write, but um, make sure you check out my latest safety article in Vape Magazine. You can do that. I will leave a link in the description below as well. And let me know what you guys think. If you've read them uh, or the my only other one, I should say, um, what was it? The October issue? Make sure you... Uh, let, let me know how uh, you like the October issue and uh, make sure you check out my newest article as well because it's very important. It's all about hybrid batteries and uh, 510 connections. All right, so the last thing I wanted to talk about was the Guide to Vaping Best of 2015 Awards. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's basically just uh, helping out your favorites of 2015. So your favorite device, your favorite convention, your favorite YouTuber, most influential vapor, etc, etc, etc. So if you feel like voting, uh, make sure you follow the link in the description. I'll have that there for you as well. And yeah, I mean, I'm not saying vote for me. Vote for Grim Green, vote for Phil Bissardo, whatever, don't care. Um, but yeah, make sure you go do that because I really like these polls and I like to see what people like to see uh, when they're on YouTube or you know what people like to use when they're vaping. Uh, one other thing real quick was uh, I showed you in the last video the Petri. There we go. And I have it built. And I've been vaping on it all day, and I have some things to say about it. I guess I can give you a little bit of a first impression, but uh, first things first is it's definitely harder to build on than I expected. And I'm saying that as an experienced builder, I've been building for almost two years now. It's, it's not as easy as I would have expected. Um, I personally like the velocity setup a lot better than this. However, it does look really, really pretty. You know, it's got the gold accents and, you know, the grub screws look pretty cool too or whatever you want to call those. I don't know. Um, they look cool, but I found that they kind of were stripping out a little bit easier. So uh, be careful on these things. Uh, I mean, I would even go as far as saying make sure you're tightening it with, a, a you know, some pliers or something because those uh, threads on there, not the threads, the uh, actual, like, part you put the screwdriver into 
comes, uh, you know, it, it gets all mangled pretty quick. So be a little bit gentle on it um, or use a, a set of pliers or something. Uh, the airflow, again, a little bit disappointed with it. I thought it was going to be, you know, huge amounts of airflow considering there's so much room in the deck. But again, not as much as something like a Kennedy or something like that with uh, like a, the larger airflow Kennedys, not the single hole Kennedys. Um, so, I mean, it's okay. Uh, another thing that kind of disappointed me was the fact that this drip tip right here makes it seem like it's an extra wide bore. Not really any extra wide at all. It's just a normal 510 drip tip. Uh, you can't see that at all because it's matte black and I don't have the lighting gear to set it up. But anyways, you'll see that in the close-ups of the final review coming very soon on this channel. Uh, I do want to apologize for any delay in, in the fact that I'm not creating a ton of videos right now, but you will be seeing a massive floodgate of videos after I move into the new studio, which is going to be starting tomorrow. So starting tomorrow, I'll have a lot more videos for you, a lot more builds, juice reviews, everything like that. So make sure you leave a comment on what kind of stuff you want to see on this channel, and I'll be sure to try my best and do it for you. So that's about it for today. Signing out, uh, me, Nick. Uh, follow me on Instagram, at DailyVapeTV. Uh, check out my in, uh, my Facebook page. It's just Daily Vape TV again. All the links are always in the description there. Uh, if you want to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe and like this video. And check out SpinFuel.com for more of me and Smoke a Joey and the SpinFuel official videos. So that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching. And as always, vape on.